This is day two of me trying to turn $0 into $1,000. Yesterday, we got off to a pretty good start. We've currently got $53 in cash and I've got two items up for sale. The first is a Wallabies jersey that I picked up in the thrift store just yesterday. I paid just $12 for that. And we've also got a pair of bedside tables that I bought for $40 as well. The bedside tables, they haven't gone on to sell just yet, but I do have some really good news around that Wallabies jersey. We got a $199 sale price in less than 24 hours of being listed. It was so awesome to see it turn around so quickly and I've been able to profit $150 after fees and postage on that purchase, which means we now have to start episode two, day two of this seven day challenge, $203. And I've just found on Facebook Marketplace, a pr well, potentially a pretty good buy. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, I'm Reed. You got a few games in the collection, I'll take it. Yeah, 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 I got quite a few. I actually, I'm only selling this because I um, recently got a um, one that was a little bit cleaner. All right, let me bring you up to speed. What we're looking at here is a really rare game, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This one is boxed and in brand new condition. If it is brand new, it's worth about 600. There's a couple of just little creases. Yeah, there, isn't there? creases there. Yeah. Crease here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. But um, other than that, like, you can have a look at the box, I just take everything out. For yeah, you. cartridge has been used a few times, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. Let's see. Like yes, it's been mate. played. Yeah, for yeah. sure. You've got um 220 on it at the moment. Yeah, yeah. What would your what would your best price be, do you think? I mean, to be honest, man, at the moment I'm Surely. people interested. Hey? Yeah, and I have an offer on eBay at the moment. So definitely a pretty cool item. Based on the condition that I saw it in, I think it's actually only worth about the $200 that he was after. And if you have a look on eBay, all of the comps around that condition level are about that price. So if it was mint, definitely $500 to $600. But with video games and collectibles like that, they do need to be mint. So I'm glad I was aware of that before I went ahead with the purchase or this challenge could have been over very, very quickly. And there are some huge implications if I don't do this $1,000 in seven days as well. I've agreed to dress up as the Monopoly man and go out in public and give away any profits that I make over the next seven days. So if I don't hit that $1,000, the money that I've made is not mine. And that's a very scary thing. So we're going to have to get a rig on. It definitely wasn't my intention to go looking for furniture in thrift stores, but I've come across these and they're actually really good. $20 each, a $40 spend. These are in really good condition and the quality, those dovetail groovings there as well, it tells me that I should be able to get about $100 to $150 for these. It's a, it's a really exciting find because I know the furniture, albeit the other ones that I've got haven't done well, I think these are gonna do a little bit better. Moved into the DVD section as well. This is more what I was looking for. I wanted to find some sort of cracker box set. And sure enough, I found one. I've got Murder, She Wrote here. I've got every single episode of this TV show. It sells for about $145, but here's the reason I'm buying it. It's $60. There's 110 sold on eBay. There's 182 currently listed. That's a really good sell-through rate. And I'm happy to pick it up for the $60. All right, this is a perfect example that not all furniture items are the same. I've just gone ahead and I've listed these uh, new bedside tables up on the marketplace. They've been up for five hours. I've got eight watches and over 200 views. And yet my other bedside tables that I picked up yesterday have got about 15 views and no watches. So there's a huge discrepancy there. I've clearly just bought better bedside tables this time around for $40. And I'm confident that these are going to turn pretty quickly with eight watches at a $100 asking price. I should be able to get the full amount. Um, but what I'm going to do with these other bedside tables that I picked up yesterday, I can't have this $40 just sitting there being pretty much underutilized. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the price from $100 down to the $50 that I've pretty much spent. It'll only make me $10 profit. I just need the money back to go again because we don't have much time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. That'll be it for day two. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm up and about this morning, guys. Really cool to see. We had a bunch of messages come through for these bedside tables. I managed to get the full asking price no more than 24 hours after listing them back up on a marketplace. Actually, we bought them in the thrift store yesterday for $40, and here we are selling them for $100. Bucks. I picked up an extra $20 because I always offer a delivery service as well with the furniture. I think it's a really smart way to go about it. It was no doubt a really helping hand in generate all of the inquiries and generate the sale. And I've pocketed an extra $20, which I'm happy to go and do. So 40 into the 120, really helping the challenge. We've got a big day ahead with some good coin to play with.
That's awesome. Appreciate that. Very much appreciated. They're Unreal. good heights with you. Yeah. The same height as our last one, so. Oh, perfect. That'll work well then. Yeah. Unreal. Happy to help. Appreciate that. Thank you. Nah, no dramas. See you, See you guys. Easy as that. I dive back into the thrift guys and this is by far and away the coolest thing I have ever seen we've got a retro TV aquarium here and there were live fish in there as well very very cool but wasn't gonna fit the budget um, found these a pair of uh, Prestos these are an awesome pair of shoes I just thought the condition was a little bit off $20 a little bit steep and I don't think the sell-through rate would have been there so I had to leave that behind uh, outnumbered I've got this TV show here it's only $8 sells for about 35 bucks it's an absolute cracker but it doesn't fit the bill for sell-through rate. So again, we won't be able to do that. I had to leave that store. There wasn't anything catching my eye, but I walked into a cash converters and I did find a few goodies in here. I'm looking at the rare video games. That's what I'm wanting to try and find here. Uh, a lot of Pokemon games in here, a lot of old NES, NES, uh, Nintendo 64, um, some really good stuff in here. But the best that I found though was hiding at the back there. You've got a Metal Gear Solid. Um, now that one there was $149. It was reduced price, but it was actually only going for about $149 on eBay. So that was a real shame. I thought that might have been a little gem hiding in the back. There was a Game Boy. Uh, that Game Boy was probably overpriced to what you're going to get for it on eBay. So that was a shame. Um, so really all of these price points here at this cash converters with no sales running in store, uh, even that controller there, I just wasn't seeing any turnaround. I had a look at the jerseys because we've struck gold in the jersey category in this series already. But for $79, this signed Brisbane Broncos jersey wasn't going to be making me enough profit. And I don't think it was as good of an item for a sell-through rate. So this is proving to be very, very difficult. I was out here for an hour. And to be honest with you guys, I ended up, I didn't spend a cent. Well, unfortunately, no luck in those thrift stores, guys. I'm becoming more and more aware that we really only have a few short days left in this challenge. And it's so hard to go into those stores and just walk away with a couple of hundred dollars worth of profit that's going to sell instantly. That's a very hard thing to do. Uh, but I am having success on Facebook Marketplace. And we just sold that piece of furniture there. Uh, it's the second piece of furniture that we've sold this week. So... I think that's what, the way that I'm going to try and tackle this. I'm going to go back home, jump on Marketplace, and just see what I can't pick up. I want to spend all of this money. I don't want money just sitting there. It needs to be invested at all times. So it's a bit of a rush, but fingers crossed we can get there because I don't want to be in that Monopoly suit. This is huge, guys. I've had a really big win here. Murder, She Wrote has finally sold. 24 hours on this one. I say finally. It was super quick. It was because of that sell-through rate that I spoke of. There were over 100 listings and over 100 sales. So I knew it was good, and I just nicked it a little bit under market value just so it looked really good in the... Uh, in the run when you're looking at price points and sure enough it's sold so it can be as simple as that if you have a good product it can go on to sell very quick and that was a really good buy mind you i had to pay the 60 dollars, so it's only going to be a 29 dollars profit to add to the kitty we've now got 252 dollars to play with mind you though at the end of day three now we are over 40 percent of the way through this series and i've only got 22 percent of the money that i need for the overall thousand dollars so by those calculations, I am behind pace. I need to find one Hail Mary item that can take us from 250 to 350, 500 if I can, depending on how or what this item is going to be. So stick around for it, guys. It's going to be a huge third and final episode. Days four, five, six, and seven are going to be coming in the very last installment of this series. So hopefully you can be there for it, guys. Appreciate you tuning into this one. We'll see you soon.